Hi everyone, I'm Donna from the Land Rover Guidebook channel. Today, we will look at the options of the new Discovery Sport. This is the interior of the 2020 new Discovery Sport. It's a facelifted model compared to the 2019 model, and you can see a lot of changes. The steering wheel, dashboard, door, etc. look a lot like the top model Discovery. In the upper right corner of the infotainment screen, you can see the smartphone's charging status icon. New Discovery Sport features smartphone wireless charging. If you put a smartphone with wireless charging on the front of the console box, charging starts automatically. Swipe left on the home screen to display the extra features screen. Depending on your country default options, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto may be installed. Higher grade models have configurable ambient lighting. There are 10 colors to choose from, and you can choose brightness in 5 levels. Ambient light illuminates under the front seats, in the front of the center console, in the front and rear doors. New Discovery Sports has added smart settings. You can choose from the extra features screen or the icon at the bottom left of the screen. Tap create a new profile, then create a random profile and register a smart key. From now on, smart settings will recognize smart keys and smartphones and begin to distinguish users. The user can select from 10 icons. The vehicle learns your five patterns and automatically turns them on or off to help you. The selected icon is displayed at the bottom left of the home screen according to the user. We will learn more about it later on our channel. The extra features screen also adds emergency notifications and alerts you if there is an emergency you need to know. The center fascia of the 2020 new Discovery Sport has changed from traditional physical buttons to touch screens. Touch each icon to select it, and the light next to it will light up to tell you whether or not you are using this feature. When you touch it again, the light next to it turns off to indicate that this function is no longer used. The new Discovery Sport features front windshield and rear windshield heating in all classes. Tap the climate icon on the center fascia to change the infotainment screen above to the climate screen. Below is the internal air circulation icon. The upper grade models feature air cleaning sensors and indoor air ionizers. You can turn the ionizer function on or off from the climate screen. The indoor air intake can be set on the climate settings screen. You can choose the level of filtering from the air freshness settings below. If the sunroof blinds are open, turn off the ignition, get out of the vehicle, and lock the door. The blinds will close automatically. Automatic blind settings can be made from the climate settings screen on other Land Rover vehicles. New Discovery Sport, however, does not have this setting yet. When unlocked, board the car and start the engine. The sunroof blinds will automatically open to their previous positions. The wind speed icon is button-based. Pressing the wind speed button will light up around the button and the large rotary controls on the left to raise or lower the wind speed up to 7 speeds. If you press the button again, the surrounding light goes out and becomes inactive. When you press the drive program button, the light will light around the button and the right rotary control, allowing you to select various drive programs. Rotate the rotary control to select various riding programs, such as Echo, Comfort, Auto, etc. Terrain Response 2 applies to the new Discovery Sport, allowing you to select an auto program. The number in the rotary control is the temperature setting. You can turn the rotary control to raise or lower the temperature. You can set the temperature of the driver's seat and the passenger seat separately. Pressing the rotary control changes to the seat temperature setting. Depending on the grade, it can be switched between cooling seat and heating seat and can be adjusted in three levels. Press the rotary control again to switch to the climate temperature setting. In the lower left corner of the center fascia is the auto stop and go icon. Next to it is dynamic stability control. 
To the right is the downhill drive control icon, and next to it is the all-terrain progress control. The new Discovery Sports lower grade features a new analog instrument cluster. The information panel in the middle is much bigger than before. When you turn the ignition on or off, the speedometer and RPM are displayed on the information screen. The upper grades are TFT instrument panels. Various instrument screen settings are possible. In the new Discovery Sport, the gear selector has changed from dial to stick. If you push or pull while pressing the front lever of the gear, you can shift to R mode or D mode through N mode. If you do not press the front lever when you push or pull the gear, both gears will shift to N mode only. Shifting to S mode is not possible in N mode. First, shift the gear to D mode while pressing the lever in front of the gear, and then to the left to shift to S mode. From now on, you can shift manually by pushing or pulling gears. To shift back to D mode, simply slide the gear to the right. Press the P button on the top of the gear to park. Next is the steering wheel. Lastly, in the new Discovery Sport, all Land Rover vehicles have the same electrostatic steering wheel. The round control on the left side of the steering wheel slides to adjust the instrument panel menu and media volume. In addition to sliding, pressing can be controlled. Below are the phone, favorite and voice command buttons. The round control on the right gives you cruise control. Long and short arrows on the left and right side also allow for adaptive cruise control. Simply press the Lane Keep Assist button below to activate and deactivate it. You can also do this from the Instrument Panel menu, and you can select Steering Assist and Vibration from the settings below. The new Discovery Sport features a heated steering wheel. On the right side there is a Cancel button and a Limit button. The limit button is a speed limiter. You can switch between speed limit and adaptive speed limit in the speed limit awareness function in the instrument panel menu. You can also switch by pressing and holding the cancel button on the steering wheel. Next is the external light control. Recent Land Rover vehicles come with return control. After selecting the desired light, release the control and the control will return to the center neutral position. Neutral position automatically turns on the headlamp without setting the instrument panel menu. However, in order to use the functions such as auto high beam automatically, you need the control to auto. Pressing the control to the high beam position also returns the control. Daylights on lower grade models light up like this. The headlamps and high beams light up like this. This is how it looks when the turn signal and emergency light are on. You will see the daylight turn off and turn on as a turn indicator. The signature daylight is applied in the higher grade model. Headlamps and auto high beams are applied along with signature daylights to automatically turn on high beams on dark nights. Depending on the setting, in addition, if the indicator setting is set to animation, the signature daylight turns off when the turn signal and the emergency light are turned on, and the turn signal is turned on in this way. The upper grade models with signature daylight also feature premium LED headlamps. Animations can be set for the turn indicators on lower grade models, but only the turn indicators at the rear will turn on. The interior of the front door has been changed to this design. For higher class models, up to three different seat positions can be memorized in the driver and front passenger seats. The interior design of the rear door. The front seats have been replaced by the old HSE grade seat design. The same applies to the rear seats. Grained leather applied. The air conditioner vents on the B pillars were moved to the back of the center console box. The rear seat heating seats are applied for the upper grade models. Next is the clear sight room mirror. You can switch between the mirror and camera screen by pressing or pulling the lever at the bottom of the room mirror. 
The camera screen lets you see behind the vehicle. Press the settings button on the bottom of the room mirror and set the brightness of the camera screen. You can set the brightness in four steps by pressing the two buttons next to the settings button. Press the button once or continue to adjust. Press the settings button again to adjust the position of the camera screen. You can adjust the camera position in step 8 up and down by pressing the two buttons next to the settings button. You can adjust the camera screen up and down by pressing the two buttons once or by pressing them continuously. Lower grade models have headlamp leveling controls in the lower left corner of the driver's seat. Up to three levels can be adjusted and a headlamp can be adjusted up or down according to the adjustment. Higher grade models automatically have headlamp leveling applied. Next is the head-up display. Higher grade models have a head-up display. The head-up display can be turned on or off, and brightness and position can be adjusted. In addition, various safety functions have been added. First of all, an alarm sensor function was added. If you activate the brake hold function, the vehicle will not move when the brake is applied deeply and the foot is released from the pedal. There are several collision avoidance features. You can activate the forward alert function and set the sensitivity. An alarm sounds when an object is detected in front of you at a constant speed. The AEB function is an automatic emergency brake system. If the driver does not brake until a collision is expected, the vehicle will stop actively. In the blind spot assist setting, you can display a warning light only in the side mirrors or actively steer the steering wheel. In addition, the driver monitoring system alerts you to drowsy driving. The new Discovery Sports DEF inlet move to the side of the fuel inlet. The location of the antenna on the activity key has also been moved to the bottom right of the tailgate window. The smart key has been changed to a new angled shape. So far, we have explored the various options of the new Discovery Sport. In the next video, we'll talk about trip computers and echo data. Please do not forget to subscribe. Thank you very much.